Hey everyone, today I am going to be giving you my overview of the BTEC GRMS Pro. I had to say that slow because it's a little bit of a tongue twister. Um, this is my preferred handheld or HT uh, radio when we're on the trail. And this video is going to be specifically kind of for the off-road community as opposed to the radio community. If you're into GRMS radios or ham radios, you've probably heard about this. It's been really popular. Uh, there's been a couple reviews on kind of the radio channels. So I wanted to provide my thoughts as a radio operator and a Jeeper. So I'm going to cover some of the features, my personal thoughts, likes, dislikes, that kind of thing. And you can decide if this would be a good radio for you or not. All right, everybody. So I'm going to jump into a couple of the features that I really like about this radio and kind of some of the things that I was looking for as someone who is going to be typically in a vehicle off-road and going to be using this type of radio. This is not my primary radio. I have a hard-mounted radio in the Jeep and that is better for 90% of the situations, especially communication long distance. But there are instances where you have to hop out of the vehicle to help spot someone, get someone over an obstacle. Um, if there's a mechanical breakdown that you might not be able to be inside the vehicle and you have to rely on something else. The BTEC GRMRS Pro is really nice. It's a good quality radio. Um, it does run about $150 right now. So it's definitely a little bit higher than say a Baofeng, but it's not the most expensive HT uh, handheld out there. The main thing that I like about it is the features that it has. So the first feature that was important to me is it has a good battery life, but I'm also going to be in a vehicle. So it has USB-C charging so that you can charge on the fly, which I think is really important. And a lot of radios don't have, but the newer ones are starting to move that way. So another thing I like is going to be the display screen. It is a multicolor functional display shows a lot of great information. This is a dual channel radio, so you can monitor two channels at once. Right now I've just got it at one. Um, for my purposes, that's really all I need. But it has a couple of nice features. It has a GPS antenna here. Um, this antenna is removable, so you can change it, hook it to a larger antenna, get uh, better reception. reception rather. Um, it does have a compass built into the radio. I don't know that I would really rely on it, but if you're in a survival situation, it's all you had, it's probably better than nothing. Um, but overall, very good looking radio. It's easy to see uh, when you're, you know, doing things on the trail. If you're in your vehicle, you need to look over. Every, all the inf pertinent information is right there for you. Okay, so one of the other things that I do like about this radio is that it is FCC compliant. So what that means is that it is programmed out of the box, ready to go. You don't have to really worry about any of the program if you don't want to. There are programming options. You have six banks of 30 channels. So you can basically put those in however groups that you want to do and change anything that you really need to. The nice thing for a beginner radio operator is you, like you said, you don't have to really mess with anything. If you get something, so like the the Baofeng uh, GMRS or not the GMRS, the Baofeng UV5Rs, um, they require programming out of the box. Now they're easy to program with a laptop if you use Chirp software, but going through the menu and actually manually programming these, you know, one thing at a time, one channel at a time is kind of laborious. It takes a long time. This one ready to go out of the box. Okay, last but not least, my favorite thing about this radio has nothing to do with the radio itself, but with the company that runs it because they have an app on your phone that can control the radio. You can go into the app and I'm going to show you here in a second, but you can use the radio. So push to talk is on the phone. It has Bluetooth capability, which is huge. Not only can you Bluetooth to your phone, you can also Bluetooth to your vehicle. So the sound will come through your speakers. I don't know about you, but in a Jeep, that is huge because typically if you've got the top off, the doors off, it's going to be a loud environment. The speaker that in that isn't loud enough. If you had an external speaker, a lot of times they're not loud enough. 
So why not use the speakers from either the factory or you've probably upgraded them at this point to something aftermarket that's going to be really loud, really clear. I'm going to show you on my phone the app and so you can kind of get an idea of the operating system that it uses because it's really slick. The second part of the app that I think is crucial is that you can actually share your location with other GMRS Pro users. So if you're on a trail ride, you want to know where the other trail leaders are. If someone's in your party and they get lost and they have one of these radios, you can view their location from the radio on the app. And that's huge because you get out of, you know, cell phone service, try to make communication. Radios aren't foolproof. But if you can, you know, share your location on a map and you see a dot and you know exactly where someone's at, then that makes finding them so, so much easier. So we're going to jump in the app right now and kind of take a look at it and see what you guys think. All right, everybody. So I'm here in the app and basically you see that I've got a map of the United States and it has my location there. I'm in southeastern Ohio. So one of the cool things, if you look in the upper left, it's got our radio frequency that we're on. So I can actually go to the radio and change that. And as you can see, it updates that. If I wanted to push to talk, simply press test, test, test. And that keyed up the radio, made it so that I can talk on my radio. A couple of the other features, we have all of the channels here. So if you wanted to quickly move to one, move to another, you can change your power setting. If you want to do dual channel, single channel, scan. Uh, it has an FM radio frequency as well. So a lot of cool features there as far as like the radio. One of the other cool things is that I'm going to zoom in here to some of the uh, maps that we go to. So we're here near Tar Hollow. So you can download this screen or the, the, the map essentially offline so that when you go to go to your wheeling location, it's going to be saved for you, so you'll be able to see that. Now, this is one of the other really cool features that we have in the app for the GMRS Pro. So I don't have any members here, but I can make groups. You know, we can go back to map if we need to, but I can send voice and or uh, text messages to the other members and it will get translated through the app. So just uh, do like a recording here. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. And that's what it's gonna transmit through. Um, but I can also, if I just wanna like send a text message, hey, it's gonna send that and it's got my radio username, which you can change. I haven't messed with it yet, but it has on the frequency. And it's going to send that text message over the radio. You won't be able to hear it. The radio itself just keys up. It doesn't transmit any, like, uh, garbly gook or anything like that. But a really, really cool feature, especially if you just want to send a quick message and you don't want to necessarily tie up the radio. Or if someone's having trouble hearing you, they might not be able to get all of the audio file but they might be able to get the text message because it's less information. So we'll go back here to the map and um, you can kind of get a view it. But this part of the radio is what sold me. This is the coolest part because of the availability to send multiple communications to people and to see where they are. So I'm going to jump back to the other camera. So we'll do a wrap up. All right, everybody. So this has been kind of my thoughts and my mini review of the GRMRS Pro. Again, I haven't really dived into it as far as like the radio itself, but as a Jeeper or off-roader would use the functionality in the radio. So I went over all of the pros. Now I'm going to go over a couple of the cons. The number one being is that if no one else has this radio in your group, the features on the app as far as sharing your location, sending text messages, that kind of thing, really can't happen because as of right now, this radio is only designed to talk to this radio specifically. So 
if even if they have another GMRS radio that can have some of those features, they can't talk to each other, so they're not going to work. They're not going to be compatible. So it's really a case of you know if your club or your group is going to you know run these radios, then you know multiple people in the club have to have them so that you can use them effectively, which makes sense. So the other con is the cost. I know especially if you're you know just getting into this hobby. You want something that you can use and is going to, you know, you be used 90% of the time fairly well. Um, not going to break the bank. The Baofangs, they're great. They're a great kit. I've got probably four of them now, and they're really nice because they they do work fairly well. You can upgrade them. In my other videos, I've talked about, you know, getting larger antennas, bigger batteries, that kind of thing. Um, they're nice. At a, they're a nice price point that I can comfortably lend them to someone who might not have a radio. And I'll be honest, you know, if I don't get it back, it's not the end of the world. It's not going to break the bank. This, if I lend it out, because um, I'd have to have another one. But if I did, then, you know, that's that's going to hurt a little bit more if it uh, walks off or, you know, gets damaged in some way and is no longer usable. So... In summary, great radio, great piece of kit. But you know, if your if your club's not gonna move to one of these, or you know, your group of friends aren't, do you need the features? Not really. Um, I do like the fact that it will charge on the USB C. I mean, for me, that's important because you know sometimes you forget to charge your batteries. So um, it's it's just one of those modern features that I really like. It's a good radio for the money. I would argue it's probably one of the better ones out there, especially in 2024. Um, a lot of the reviews that I've read state the same thing, and I, I would agree with them. So if you're looking for a solid handheld walkie-talkie radio for GMRS, check out the BTEC GMRS Pro. Thanks for watching. Um, as of this video, I'm almost to 270 subscribers, so big thank you to all who have subscribed to the channel. Uh, let's keep it going, keep it growing. Um, I am going to uh, do a few more videos, uh, kind of some update videos, and I, there's one video that I really want to redo, but I do have um, some projects uh, kind of lined up, and um, I'm a little bit excited about one of them in particular. Might be able to get to help put a neighbor, uh, help a neighbor rather, uh, put a lift on their Grand Cherokee, a newer one, and uh, we might have an Overlander on the channel. So a um, little bit excited about that. So um, don't want to give too much away, but we'll try and provide some content for you folks. Uh, if you do have the newer Grand Cherokees, love those vehicles personally. Um, if I didn't have the Wrangler, that's what I would have, especially if it had the 5.7 Hemi in it. So um, this video has gone on long enough, and um, I'm going to end it here. But again, thank you for all of the support, and as always, like, comment, subscribe. really helps out the channel, helps us grow, and I will see you on the next one. Hey everyone, today I am going to be giving you my personal thoughts on the GRM, GRM, 